Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode here on the Ravencraft server. I'm Dr. Ravenholm and in today's episode we're going to be finishing our mass production area for constructing rockets. Okay everyone, in a previous stream we were working on this mob farm with focus and uh, well, as though that stream was cut short, we have now actually completed the build here. And I'm just going to swoop down here, you can see all the rainbow colours that we put in for all the different layers of the farm there. And I'm going to have a quick look around in the bottom area here and I can show you what we've been doing here in the collection area. So at the moment this is a, a work in progress that we're working on down here, but I'll zoom in here. This is the giant item sorter for all of the items that we collect from this mob farm. I'm going to get absolutely mountains. I mean at the top there we have a whole set of shulker boxes which are all just already full of gunpowder. And as you can see here we've gone for a nice little sort of rainbow design in the background there. And uh, this is also to help illustrate uh, which one of these doubles columns are for each item as well. Uh, we've also got some, um, I suppose almost like Mario inspired kind of like pixel backgrounds is what we were thinking when we were putting it here. Um, we're going to be doing another one on the other side later on, uh, but that'll be uh, one for another day when, we, uh, when we're working on it through the night. Uh, but this is going to be the entrance as well, we're going to be able to fly in and out. Uh, but as I said, this is like a work in progress area at the moment, so let's just make sure I've got my rocket selected so that I can actually get out of here and I'll show you what we're going to be finishing today. So over here, you'll see here we have this little patch here uh, all marked off. And what we're going to put in this area is a zero tick sugarcane farm. Uh, and at the minute, zero tick farms still work all right because we're still in 115.2 here on Ravencraft. Uh, but we want to get an absolute load of uh, sugarcane so we can make absolutely tons of rockets. Um, before the uh, the update, uh, even though we won't be updating straight away, it'll probably be 16.1 uh, or even 16.2 before we actually update this server, just to make sure there's a, a stable release. But we're going to put the uh, the zero tick farm here for the sugar cane just here, which is directly below the AFK spot for our farm here. So before we get started on uh, building the sugarcane farm, I'll just go over a few of the little technical issues that we have that unfortunately weren't covered in the stream when we built this. Uh, normally you build your AFK spot, it'll be, you know, miles up in the sky there. Uh, for us, we've had to actually build it to the side because the issue that we were having is um, whenever the mobs were dropping, as you can see there, they were actually just spawning at the grey level before they could hit uh, because of some of the... Um, modifications that we have on the server to improve its efficiency, the uh, the mob spawned slightly sooner than we would like. Uh, we tried lowering it, however that led to the top sections not being utilised properly, as no mobs were spawning on them. So that led me to recalculate the position of the AFK area to an area at the side, so the, the mob spawning sphere encapsulates this area. However, this has led to us having to completely light up all of the surrounding area. You can just see the glow of some of the torches here. Uh, we've actually uh, expanded it beyond the, uh, the sphere. Uh, that would actually be required for spawning as well and we spent two nights lighting up every single cave underneath this entire area um, just so that we get absolutely mountains of mobs and as you're seeing here it is just raining down the mobs onto the bottom there and all of those guys are being collected in the bottom but anyway let's get on to the sugarcane farm we'll just zoom down here and I'll show you all the blocks that we need to create this now this is going to be the, you know, the same one as we built on Cosmic and it's a slightly modified version of El Manco's design uh, because unfortunately his design uh, when we were using it on Cosmic uh, the water kept on glitching and escaping so uh, we had to make a little adjustment on the bottom of it to uh, keep the water in place for the sugar cane. But this here is everything that you need to paint along with us, all the blocks in here. Uh, some of them are just decorative, you know, the likes of these blocks here. Choose whichever blocks you like. Uh, the same as for the, the couple that I've got on the end here. That's just because I, I like to decorate the ends, uh, you know, the various sort of blocks that we have in here. You'll need two water uh, buckets at least to be able to make a, a uh, infinite water source. Uh, we'll just pop one down somewhere at the side here. Uh, and I've just, uh, because I've got absolutely tons of iron, I just made a little stack of, uh, of buckets. Uh, so when it comes time to put the water in, I can just uh, do it in one go basically. But that is everything that you'll need to paint along with us there. Uh, this is the patch where we're going to build it. So uh, we'll hop now into a little time lapse of putting this together.
Welcome back, everybody, and that is our zero tick sugarcane farm complete. Uh, I'll have a quick wander around here so we can take a closer look. Uh, what I will do is well, I will turn that racket off. <laughs> now, it's basically the same as what we built on Cosmic, with the exception of instead of having all the extra composters in, I've just selected for just having just the sugarcane storage. And this has only been running for a little while, and we've produced absolutely tons. This is actually overspilled into here now. Uh, if this does fill up, uh, th this will shut everything off here automatically there just by having that, that comparator there with that fully charged that you can see on there. Uh, what I will do though is I need to check the orientation uh, because there's an issue where hoppers have priority, which is why we have the secondary collection over here. Uh, that's just so that the um, one of these directions of the north, south, south, east, west, one of these hoppers will get priority and the other one would just back up. Which is why I've uh, put that facing the other way, but, but I'll need to double check on the actual orientation of this machine. I never actually compared it to the north south east on um, from a previous to build it. And there's another modification that we've made is we have decided not to go with the lava bucket in here for the timing because it uh, it just seemed like it washed these away every single time. I mean, it happened a few times on Cosmic, but uh, it seemed to happen like just every couple of minutes when I had the lava in there, but the machine works perfectly without it. So um, it's an unnecessary component for the timing. Um, I don't know if that would make it like produce even more memories, but considering how much we've gotten here in such a short period of time, I'm not concerned. <laughs> But uh, one thing I'll show you as well, though, uh, before we uh, before we go, um, Focus and I have been working a little bit more on this chamber here. So you see, we've uh, we've got a little bit more depth, we're a little bit more 3D in the in the wall here. Um, this area here as well that you can see, this is going to be where all the sugarcane is all going to filter down into, so we're going to store it here. So it's basically right next to all of the the tons of gunpowder that we're generating in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A fair bit of gunpowder in these. Each of these are all uh, these silos are all double columned as well. Uh, but this, uh, this is still a work in progress. We've still got bits and bobs of it to do. Plus, as well, I've got to hook the um, the sugar cane up to these chests to start with here. And this is where we'll be going, you know, in and out of there. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we're just expanding the farms that we have on the server. Once we have all the different farms, we're going to be able to start building, you know, all the different builds that we want. Uh, but we also want to build like uh, massive versions of uh, all of the farms. So I mean, like so, this mob farm. This is only a temporary one. We're going to build a uh, a much larger one somewhere else. And of course, we'll have like other industrial areas dotted all over the server uh, at some stage. Uh, but for today, we needed rockets in a hurry. Uh, because, uh, well, I'm recording this today, but uh, tonight uh, we will be live streaming a uh, end busting session. Um, of course, this episode will be going out after that, I believe. <laughs> um, it depends on when uh, when it renders out. Um, but uh, if you're interested in that there, uh, I stream across YouTube, Mixer and Twitch all at the same time. Uh, most of my um, viewers all join me over on Twitch. Um, you can of course as well join my Discord server. Uh, we don't just talk about uh, Minecraft, there's space there for everything from books and movies to tabletop games. Uh, and also from there as well you can check out my stream schedule and all the upcoming games that we have. Uh, and keep up to date on there. So I look forward to chatting with you all there. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe. And have a lovely day. Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.